All right, boys, so things have changed. There's now parasites pretty much all over the planet, taking over the world. And, uh, yeah, Samus is literally the only person on Earth, not Earth, on a ZDR, who can deal with them. Yeah, he's dead. He is now uh, ex-possessed, though, so, you know, have to deal with that later, I guess. Looking real, real fucking creepy and zombie-like, dude. Yeah, I like the I like this like the, the tenseness of it coming like from the ceiling. I don't know why that makes it so cool. It's just like different enough to be cool. But also, it's also pretty easy to figure this one out. And then we light them up. I missed. I fucking missed. All right, come on, big guy. Did I really just miss again? I missed him twice with the Omega Ken. You weren't coming off that ceiling, bud. That's just it. We're gonna ignore the fact that I just somehow completely botched that the first time through. And I think we're getting... Getting nice missiles from this guy, actually, yeah. Because he was freezing us like an asshole, which made him real annoying to deal with. I know you're blocking off a boss. What do you got for me? One of these assholes? Oh, it's not an order. Well, it kinda is, but... Oh shit! Okay. Okay. God damn it. Okay. Alright, it's down to just the, the, the goopy bits now. I remember this was the. This is actually the first, like, X enemy that gives us a power up, so this is a big ass throwback to, uh, to Fusion. And I really thought he would give us the gravity suit with all of his gravity based crap that thing was doing, you know? Wouldn't that just make sense that it wasn't just storm missiles? No wrong, storm missiles are amazing. Oh, is this the area with the two guys? I remember there was one, yeah. This part drove me insane, dude. This was like the hardest part of the fucking game, I swear to God. They showed me the, the joys of using the storm missiles and uh, I never looked back. Okie dokie then. See, this is really just a, an ad for the storm missiles being like the best offensive weapon in the game. And we got him. Okay. Okay. Storm missiles are our boss killing uh, weaponry, dude. Those, that's how we win. Goes the space jump. Okay. Now we can just jump infinitely forever. And that is absolutely spectacular. Boys, you know what time it's going to be, right? They just made us do this entire ass water section that I probably cut the majority of out. And uh, trust me guys, you didn't miss much underwater section. But, you know, they had to make us really, really need this particular power up. That's right. Sam is going purple. And I am a big fan of the gravity suit in this game. It just looks sick. Like, it's got those big-ass shoulder pads. It looks fucking powerful. We've earned this. After ruining all this underwater shenanigans, we have earned the gravity suit. One of these guys is here. You know what that means. Boss incoming. Yep, definitely boss time. So the game healed us for good reason. And I remember this boss. Was he hard? Was he difficult? Uh, I mean, well, it's hard mode now, so it's probably going to be much harder than it was. Dude, the gravity suit is so sick in this game. I love how it looks. But all right, Samus. Clearly there's uh, something here uh, freezing the old melterometer. It's this guy. It's this horrifying Cthulhu creature right out of Bloodborne, dude. He's coming in. Yeah, dude. We're, okay, uh, that's right. Cthulhu himself is a boss in Metroid. Samus, Samus ain't scared, though. Samus is just like, oh, you ain't shit, bro. Okay, I think I remember this thing's pattern. Oh, shit. Ah, all right, all right. Might, might take me a couple tries. Yeah, we got to use every tool we've got to avoid this guy. Fantastic. That, that <laughs> Everything went south there. Let's go. There we go, Samus. Do what you got to do to this guy. We got to get some health back. We are nowhere near surviving him, but look at, the, look at this fucking animation, dude. Like, it's crazy, because it's, it's literally a QTE, but it's done in such a way where you earn the QTE. Like, you earn this awesome shit happening just by being good at the game. Uh, what are you going to do now? Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> what the fuck? I just... Okay. What's he going to do? I don't, I don't remember this. I don't remember this one. 
Oh, this is this is the Flappy Bird part. This is this is it. We're playing Flappy Bird now, boys. Ah. Uh. Oh, I wanted to hit him with the I wanted the speed boost, kill him so bad. Oh, okay. I didn't. I don't remember there being a cross slash. Do whatever damage we can. I will be over here. Four percent, four HP. We could be. We could do this. All right. All right. Doing the cross slash. Okay. It hits. It hits above. All right. I don't remember the cross. I don't remember the timing to dodge that one. But next time, we're we're, we're speed boost killing them. We're doing it. Okay. Flappy bird. Flappy bird. Shit. Fuck. I thought I was invincible during that. Is he dead? Did we do it? God damn, that dude was hard. And then this last round, I didn't talk, dude. It was just me and the game. And then we beat him. And Samus is just gonna badassly just ruin this dude's career. Oh, and of course it's one of these. Well, whatever power up he had is now uh, melted. It's a gosh darn shame. Badass way to stand back up, by the way. And then now that he's gone, you know, by all his... I guess he just shit all over the thing. And stands with the badass hero pose. And then we just, you know, just leave. Boom. Place cooling down. Warming up, I guess. I guess Samus just brute force it. Why not? Screw attack, baby. The time has come to just be a wrecking ball of destruction. Let's jump into him like Sonic the Hedgehog with a screw attack. Alright, Samus. It's time to finish off this butthole. One last time seeing this animation of her being like, Alright, how do I keep this? Okay, okay. Finally! Jesus, man, this one was such a pain in the ass. And I think you're gonna give me my power bombs now, aren't you? You little bastard, you. Because we can now shoot through walls, boys. That thing was an absolute pain. I don't know how I edited it, but that was an absolute pain in the ass. We finally break through these doors. There we go. Now we're on the new stuff, boys. A cutscene already? These are all of the uh, cloning attempts to create the new X-Parasite infused versions of these creatures. Uh, Samus parried it on her own. Samus got the angry eyes now. She wanted to slurp up that energy, you see, but she uh, decided against it. It just power bombed its way in, and that's hilarious. And you know what? She did it on her own. I actually did not press the button at the right time. But you know what? Samus, just, just slurp up those power bombs. Just, just slurp it up. Just slurp up, just slurp it up. She's a Metroid now. Just slurp up that energy, bro. That's how it works. She got the the slurping power of the Metroid. And the brain just short-circuited back there, and you know, that's one way to get the power bombs, right? Samus is like, oh, I'm a god now. That's fine, we got the storm missiles, dude. This guy can't do shit against the storm missiles. Come on. Shield's broken, now he's just a normal one of these dudes. Who are really not too bad uh, after you kind of get the pattern down. Storm missiles, dude, they just make everything easy. And Samus is just slurping this dude up. She's like, you know what? Just heal me. Just give me whatever you got, man. She's just basically become a uh, Raiden, breaking the, the spinal cords, you know? If you ever played Metal Gear Rising, one of the best games of all time as far as just pure, raw entertainment goes. And then we can just, you know, slurp up the old uh, power bomb that this guy used to blow up the entire room. And now, Samus is officially fully decked out, boys. We are at 100% power. Anything you see like this where it's all destroyed, just blow it up. Here we go. Final save room, and then we are on to the final boss. Now, guys, Raven Beak on normal is incredibly difficult, so... I'm gonna keep a death counter on screen just for him to see how I do on hard. Would my, will my legacy skill remembering how to beat him uh, come into play here, or uh, what, what's going on here? Final Atom room. See, this one gets its whole, it's a whole cutscene though, you know, it's not just a regular atom room. She's just like, huh, you know, sure, let's just, I don't know this one, why is one of these up here? The guy that said, can Metroid crawl, and uh, he was right all along. This is a creepy cutscene, dude, it's like the, the, the AI is like, you know, coming, like, you know, it's, it's really creepy. Samus knows something's up though, 
Samus has now realized this is not Adam talking. Don't get me wrong, it's very like, haha, I'm evil, I take over galaxy to bring order to the galaxy. Hoo-ha, <laughs> hoo-ha. Like, don't get me wrong, Ravenbeak is a very generic villain as far as motivations go. But as far as, like, relation to Samus, pretty cool. And, yeah, Samus is like, hell nah. I ain't buying it. You know, in, in, in a manner of speaking. She's still human with, you know, DNA thrown into her. But all right, boys. Remember, I said I'm going to keep a death counter on screen for this guy. All right. But I do remember a lot of the stuff. So I think I'm going to be okay. I don't know if this is actually hurting him at all, though, to be honest with you. At this point. Oh. Parry. There we go, Samus. There we go. Show him how it's done. And just light him up with nothing but endless missiles. This is fine, though. This is fine, though. This is fine, though. Second phase done. So far, so good. Samus is looking real badass right now. We got Sephiroth up in here. One winged, one -winged angel. Now he's like, well, I guess I'm not flying no more. I might look badass, but, uh, you know, uh, not, not anymore, I don't. Now it's kind of it's kind of more back to how the first phase was. Now I can actually hurt him. There we go. Uh, easiest way to to, get, to deal with this is power bomb it away. Straight up, just power bomb it away. That's the easiest way by far. Let's go! I missed time the hell out of that, but they gave it to me. Am I gonna do it second try? Am I gonna do it second try? Sam's doing this on her own, by the way. Uh, she's just too much of a badass. Self-contained. There we go. There we go. Let's do whatever we can. Oh, I'm almost running into that. Okay. There we go. All right, all right, all right. This is fine. This is fine. Oh, he just shine sparked me. I forgot he could do that. Don't let him. Don't let him use the sun. We actually could use the sun for resources. Oh, we got him, by the way. There we go. We just got to hit those parries, and Samus wins. I think. I think that's it. I think we won the fight. I don't know if there's, there's if there's another phase. I forget, but I think we did it second try. Oh, we totally did. We did it second try, boys. Second try on this boss that took that that like screwed everybody so hard. Like this. This guy, this guy's not easy, dude. I'm actually pretty proud of my skill. That, like, if he hit me a couple times on hard, it was over. And we did it. Now, don't get me wrong, Samus is not, not doing too great right now, but, um, that's fine. Hit him with the angry eyes, Samus. Hit him with the angriest eyes. Samus is the most powerful Metroid of all, and she's about to prove it, goddammit. Imagine, though, an army of SAXs. Guys, if you played, if you played Fusion, just imagine the army of SAXs. What I don't understand is how is he choking her out? Like, you know? Because, like, she has the helmet on. Samus could just use a power bomb right now and ruin your life. Samus is uh, angry screaming. Samus has hit him with the Doom Scream. Samus has gone full ass Doom Slayer. Also, guys, the suit. Let's talk about the suit. The Metroid suit, I guess is what we're gonna call it, is insane. Samus' second line in this game is a uh, extreme scream. <laughs> Those fucking eyes, dude. The eyes say so much. And as usual, Samus will now crash something into the planet, thus destroying it. Of course. Okay, I lied. She didn't destroy the planet yet, but look at the Metroid suit, dude. It'd be so sick to like, do a new game plus and run through the whole game with this thing. Like, it looks both sick and horrifying at the same time. Like, that, that, like imagine Samus chasing you in this suit. And this is bad news for, uh, for him. Yeah, he's a... Uh, He's not going to be doing too hot after this one. Very scary ass looking face he's making. And kind of interesting thing, this may kind of show how Kraid was created. Like, he, you know, because he just looks like Kraid, like as a big ass Chozo. Like, it kind of almost makes sense. And you, let's just, uh, Sam, it's just, um, yeah, just, just hit him with the big old FU laser right in the face. Like, Hit him with the final smash, basically. That's, that's literally what this feels like. As long as I don't let go of this button, by the way, we ain't, we ain't losing this. I, I could jiggle it around and have some fun, but, you know. Yeah. Yeah, Samus in this form is more powerful than she ever has been and probably ever will be. Because, uh, that suit is insane. 
And Sam is just, yeah, just get that thing out of here. So basically the X-Parasites are, are worse than the Metroids. Is what we've learned. Just one of these damn things could destroy an entire galaxy. Anywho, uh, Samus has now blown up the planet. We gotta get the hell out of here. I know where the ship is. Uh, it's the hyper beam. It's the Metroid. It is actually called the Metroid suit. It's so sick. You gotta have a hyper beam to finish off a Metroid game. You gotta though. It is, it is like a rule. And I'm sorry, poor, poor X parasite infested enemies, but you guys are not gonna be surviving long against this uh, this creature here that Samus has become because she's an absolute. Uh, she's an, she's an absolute unit. There's no other way to explain it. She's, she's a unit. Just anything that thinks it can fight me is just... Just annihilate it. But we do gotta get out of here before Santa blows up the whole goddamn planet, so, you know. I mean, sure, if replaying the game with this would probably be a little bit broken. Like, probably just a little bit. But also, it would be fun. Like, just like a victory lap, you know, after how hard this, this game actually is. And Samus, we gotta... We gotta move a little bit. We gotta attack our way out of here. The ship is right over here, boys. We made it. Well, we didn't quite make it. We got a minute. They really do kind of cut it close on the time, man. There we go. There we go. There we go. And we made it. All right. We made it to the ship, boys. And I love the escape sequence. You kind of have to have an escape sequence to end a Metroid game. Let Adam drive. Just let Adam drive. He'll be fine. He'll be fine. That's a good shot of the suit. I would totally thumbnail clickbait it, but I'm not like that. I'm not I'm not pro safia gaming, you know? Also, that is very scary looking. Like a, a ghost of like, you know, the last good one. But uh, you know, here's a look at this. He's he's given he's he's gonna basically plot armor his way into Samus being okay, pretty much. I guess, you know, since he can control the Metroid, maybe he can control the X2 a little bit. And there we go, got the gravity suit back. We're we're fine. It has suppressed the Metroid uh, urge to kill. And now Samus can get the hell out of here. And once again, blow up another planet, as is the the rule. I forget, does the whole planet explode? Oh yeah, the whole, god, the whole planet definitely explodes. Basically, if you guys need a planet uh, destroyed, you send in Samus. That's basically how you do it. A triumphant planet explosion uh, with the last of her people. Uh, I'm gonna skip the credits. I've seen them, but I do wanna. I, I do wanna see what uh, endings I unlocked. Yeah, no, no zero suit in this game. Actually, like no, no Samus without her suit uh, is shown, which is actually kind of disappointing. But you know, we know what she looks like. We've all played Smash, so it's fine. A little disappointed. There's no zero suit Samus. Four hours. That's actually pretty good. Uh, that's actually pretty decent. Okay, we got the other M one acknowledgement of other M's existence. Uh, we got the fusion one. This one's actually really cool. You get these based on uh, the dread. That is a sick shot. Holy crap. Okay. And I, I I don't know which ones I'm missing. I guess, you know. All right, so there we go. Um, there's my normal playthrough, and there's my hard mode playthrough. And, guys, it has been a blast. This game is, so far at least, easily my game of the year, like, without question. It's so good. If you have not tried it, please go play it on your own. I try my best to, like, not spoil how to solve puzzles or shit. But guys, this game is amazing. It was kind of everything I ever wanted in a new 2D Metroid game. And it gives me hope for the future of this series, man. Like, I can't wait for Metroid Prime 4 even more than before. Uh, so, guys, if you want to see more Metroid coverage as it comes out, among all the other things I normally do, please subscribe for more videos. Like this video if you enjoyed it. And, um, yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Till then.